Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin and today I'll be doing a spirit reading for anyone who has Sagittarian placements in their chart. So if you have Sagittarius in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate with you. If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, this reading could definitely resonate with you. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. I praise the creator of all, supreme, omnipotent, and in all things. I praise all of the high and virtuous spirits who have walked the way of eternal light and love. I praise all of our ancestors from Mother Africa, who is the mother of the entire human race. I praise all of the spirits who died during slavery in the Middle Passage around the world here in the United States during Jim Crow and today. Great Spirit Family, since you are free of body and form, we know that you now have greater wisdom and greater power. We ask that you hear the call of your child and come protect us. Use your greater power and influence to help us solve our problems of money, health, family trouble, and racism. We ask that somehow you give us a sign that you are pleased with your children and that, and that you are receiving our worship. Benevolent ancestors, open the gates of wealth to our people and guide us in the wisest and most effective ways to help all of Earth's children live harmoniously. Help us to remember we are part of the whole, part of God, part of each other. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. All right, guys, let's get into this reading. Okay, so... It's interesting. Your first card, the card at the bottom of the deck that we have is Diamond Tiger of the Black Moon. And it says, second chances bring success. Diamond Tiger of the Black Moon, second chances bring success. Okay, guys, and everything is already um, shuffled and the spread is already out. And I'll be reading from the book. The deck that I'm using for your spirit reading today is the Earth Warriors Oracle deck. So let's get into this. So, like, like I said, Diamond, Tiger of the Black Moon. So, when you get this card, it's telling you, do not judge anything or anyone, including yourself, and what you believe is possible based on the past. Reclaim and redirect your energy according to what matters most to you. You are stronger than you may realize. The return of strength after a challenge, second chances for success, and a brilliant intuition or insight that ends a long lasting cycle of repeated struggles are indicated. A prophecy is given for empowered leadership, spiritual attainment, and success after previous failures, which leads to an irreversible and positive outcome. Okay, wow. Okay, it goes on to say, this is more of a description um, of the card. Your soul is on the diamond path of spiritual growth. You may feel pressured by life at times, but a higher level, but at a higher level, those challenges are helping you realize your true strength of character. You have the personal will, strength, and physical power that you need for success. No matter what has happened in the past, you are developing the spirit, passion, and vitality to fight like a tigress defending her cubs. Believe in yourself. There is great dignity and strength in your heart. Man, man. Okay, and this is good because I was trying to do an Ascension reading for you. And the same way that this is the first card, a similar message was the first card at the uh, top of the deck for that one. And it was telling you to have courage. And I'm feeling that for this too. Um, have courage. Don't judge yourself for who you were in the past or whatever occurred to you in the past. Have strength, okay? I don't know what failed, whether it be a relationship or um, a job or a business or anything like that, a friendship, but this says that you're getting, this is a prophecy. It says, uh, the prophecy is given for empowered leadership spiritual attainment and success after previous failure. And I told some of you guys um, in one of the readings that I just posted uh, along with this one, um, 
that you guys are supposed to be spiritual leaders and some of you will be. But this, this success that you get, it says it's irreversible and a positive outcome. No one can change this. Nothing can change the outcome of how great whatever's coming towards you is. All right. And you guys have a really good heart. A very, very good heart. It says there is dignity and strength in your heart. So remember that. Okay. Remember who you are. Yeah. Your soul, you guys are, it's a spiritual transformation, a spiritual growth that says you're on the diamond path. Okay. All right. At the top, you have Aloha Ki Akua. And this says, blessing of the supreme being. Aloha Ki Akua. All right. Let me get this page for you. Give me a sec. Okay. Aloha Kiakua, blessing of the Supreme Being. A blessing is coming to you. Things do not need to be complicated. When you are confu confusing yourself with too many variables, too much information, or fear and doubt, Focus on filling your heart with love and let everything else go. The Great One will handle all matters in your life if you open your heart to divine guidance and, and let go with faith. This will not make you passive. Rather, it will allow you to feel an inspired, excuse me, it will allow you to feel inspired to take only the most helpful actions. This oracle indicates an answered prayer and that the divine one has you covered in a situation of concern to you. You are healing and deepening your relationship with the divine. Well, this is great. So anybody having doubts about certain outcomes, um, jobs, legal matters and different things like that? I feel like God has you covered and, 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 and whatever it is in your life. However, that resonated with you, you are covered. OK. Um, what did this say? It says you're healing and deepening your relationship with the divine and the, and the, whatever you're praying for, it will be answered. Okay. So don't worry. This, this card is more about having faith. You're going to be blessed, but you need to have faith. Don't lose faith. Okay. Now we're going to get into the spread. All right. And this will be a short read. Okay. Um, the next card we have is, it's either Lena or Lina. All right. It's probably Lina with that little accent on the A. And it says, what must be, shall be. What must be, shall be. All right, let me get that for you. Bear with me, guys. All right, Lina. It says, if you are experiencing loss or change, have faith. Sometimes things happen that seem to be working against us. It is only later that they show themselves to have been valuable ways by which we acquired the greater faith, courage, and determination that were necessary to the fulfillment of our purpose. Know that your destiny is unfolding and you are moving through circumstances that are ultimately going to help you become your soul in fullness and splendor. Keep going. Everything, everything happening in your life is helping you to fulfill your divine potential. Know that any darkness will give way to the light. Wow. Okay. Yes. Um, that's the second time about like getting a second chance. Don't worry about a loss and having faith. All right, this, this reading is very much in line. Don't lose faith. Don't lose faith. And it says, keep going. Everything happening in your life is helping you to fulfill your divine potential. Everything going on in your life, these losses of friends and family and everything like that, is not meant to make you feel alone. And I've told you guys this before, but it's all part of your path. And I even stated uh, in the other reading that, um, if you guys catch it, I said, um, uh, this time of you being, you have to be alone for a certain transformation. So go through that transformation. Okay. Um, yeah, but just keep faith because 
when you lose a person or people, it really does make you feel like all is lost and everything isn't lost. They're telling you that, you know, just keep the faith, keep going, don't stop. All right. Don't let um, your emotions get the best of you. OK. All right. So your next card is Palhik Mana and it says Medicine of the Butterfly Kachina. Medicine of the Butterfly Kachina. Okay, what is this one about? Okay, it says, an apparently lost cause or shatter. It's, a, it's about, this reading is a lot about loss. So some someone out, whoever's resonating with this, you're really feeling um, the loss of something. You're really feeling the loss of something. So, uh, an apparently lost cause or shattered dream was a necessary part of your transformational journey. Okay. What was sacrificed can be reborn into something even more beautiful. You are not meant to turn to the past as it cannot support you in the way it once did. Trust that you have the inner resource resources to handle what is happening within you and in your life. You are moving towards a significant psychological, emotional, and perhaps also physical breakthrough and transformation. You may have an inner sense of discomfort, signaling that something new is unfolding within. It is natural to initially, excuse me, natural to initially feel a little awkward or uncertain in the face of the unfamiliar. This is a good sign of change stirring from within. Allow nature to take its course. Trust in what is happening even whilst you don't fully understand understand it. Or, you know, it says whilst or even while you fully don't understand it. Um, it will turn out beautifully. It will turn out beautifully in the end, which will also happen to be a new beginning. Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let it go. All of what happened to you is for your transformation. It's for your transformation, not to punish you. Okay. All right. Your next card you have, man, I'm sorry, guys. This, the, the, this is difficult. It's called Estan, Estanat, Estanat Lehi, Estanat Lehi, also a turquoise changing woman. S, S, all right, here you go. Whoever knows how to pronounce it, you know, you say it. <laughs> I'll say what, what it says at the bottom. Turquoise changing woman turquoise changing woman okay all right let me get that for you give me one sec guys okay so this turquoise changing woman change is upon you it is essential for your continued growth and you do not need to fear it as you allow for this change remain steadfast in your inner spiritual connection this gives you courage, trust, peace, and reassurance, and you will find ways to navigate the shift so that your life improves through the process. If you are thinking of making a change, you are encouraged to do so without trying to force it. Be open and do your part to, to the best of your ability, but also tune in to your sense of divine timing. Asking the, the universe for help and allowing life to unfold accordingly to its own rhythm of creative, loving intelligence. That's great. See, it's like um, you want to be on time, but you also want to allow the divine timing and not force it. You need to. This is why you have to. This, I was saying this before. I said this in the, the last reading um, before the two that I just put out that. If you don't get rid of whatever is bothering you, whether it be a person or habits, you're not going to be able to intuitively know how to move. You need to know how to move. OK, so like it says, this change is upon you and death was like right in the center. This transformation is the best thing for you. It's going to grow you spiritually, but it's also going to transform your material world. You guys, I'm using the Earth Warriors deck. You guys are Earth Angels. You guys are star seeds. You guys are very special. Don't be afraid of this transformation. I know it feels scary because you're dropping a lot and things seem to be like you feel alone, but you're not alone. You're just changing. I was just saying this to somebody. When that butterfly goes, 
when the caterpillar goes to become a butterfly, it has to go up in that cocoon by itself. It's not changing around all its friends. It's not changing around all its little brothers and sisters it was, it was born with. It's not changing around anyone but itself. And that's what this is. That's what's required for the beauty of you to really show and shine. Okay? All right. Your next card is, oh boy, Kai. Kanyini, Kanyini, or um, it also says, in each other we find ourselves. Kani, oh boy, I should stop butchering it. Look, in each other we find ourselves, okay? Let's read this card. Okay. Healing is indicated, okay? With this card, healing is indicated, especially of wounds about connection and trust, safety and tribe, belonging and permission to be a unique individual. <laughs> At a physical level, more vitality is indicated and ample energy for healing. At a spiritual level, a deepening awareness of unified consciousness is opening up within you which will bring you into deeper divine communion and increase your effectiveness as a healing presence and sacred activist in this world. You have a destiny to fulfill, and there will be much help for many different people to fulfill it. The universe wants you to, to succeed. Do not hesitate to ask and receive assistance for your fulfillment of your own mission helps others. Thank you, God. That's what I'm telling y'all. I'm trying... I just said that. I just you are an earth angel. You are a star seed. You are here to change things, but you have to transform into what you are. Okay? Whoo! Man, here, I want to read some more. Okay, so, so it says, there's a spiritual purpose that only you can fulfill. As you move forward on your journey, you create space for others to move along behind you. And as the one ahead of you, excuse me, and as the ones ahead of you move forward, so too does room open up for your expansion. Upon this earth, we are all building the sacred temple, each fulfilling our task as we assist and support each other in our collective divine mission. How can you help with your heart's most, excuse me, how can you help with your heart most actively engaged? So keep, keep your heart on, keep it on. You may feel loss or lack, but you have a big heart. You, and, and it's a good heart. So don't turn it off because I don't have my mate yet. The my um my new job isn't off the ground yet. My my new endeavor didn't start yet. Keep your heart on. That's where your soul energy flows. Okay? So what can you offer which inspires and energizes you so much that others are uplifted in your presence? How can you receive from others joyfully? Bring them pleasure. Engage in giving and receiving deeply and with devotion. Your wisdom and openness to life generates healing for our earth. Y'all better. Whoo! Okay? Turn your light on and, and shine and let the world see and feel you. Okay? Don't be afraid. Do what you got to do because this is what you came here for. Okay? All right. Your last card, guys, is Pachamama. All right? Pachamama. Okay, it says, she with the Andean Emerald Heart. She with the Andean Emerald Heart. Pachamama. All right, give me one sec. This says, do not hold back from what is coming. Things need to change. This whole reading, sorry guys, this whole reading has been about change and transformation. Your last couple readings have been about change and transformation. If there's one thing you Sagittarians need to know is you're changing and you're transforming, all right? All right, so don't hold back from what is happening. Things need to change, so let them change. It may seem chaotic or, over, or overwhelming now, However, when you realize that you don't need to figure it all out, you will relax. 
allowing the wisdom of what is happening at a deeper level to unfold. Trust that your inner resources are enough and will grow to meet your needs for soul expression in the world. You may sometimes feel like you are juggling too many projects, with too few arms. And I know I, I, I've been seeing that a lot in a lot of readings. Like you guys are like, I got all these ideas and I don't know where to start, but you guys got it. Okay. The divine mother can help you if you trust her to keep an eye on things and guide the process for you. Ask for help. Ask for help. Pray about it. God, where do I start? You know, what's the best thing to start with? Okay. Um, this oracle indicates that peace and harmony will eventually triumph over conflict and challenge, bringing about a new way of being. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. This is all about your life purpose. All of this is about your purpose. You guys have a purpose. Okay. Here, I'm, I'm going to read what they say about Pachamama. Pachamama, the goddess of the earth honored by the indigenous peoples of the Andes, hold space for many different creatures to live within her field, including the crazy, beautiful, dangerous, and divine humanity. She knows that life thrives through diversity. She is able to foster life with such, ge with such genius and generosity because there is no fear preventing her from holding space for the new to emerge. Be open to the new, and the different in yourself and in your life. Trust like the earth mother as an act of devotion. Your trust is an act of devotion. It's like worship when you trust, okay? She is watching over you as you evolve to manifest the fullness of your sacred and original life purpose. Thank you, God. All right, guys, I love this reading because I'm all about change, you know, and I, I'm firsthand. I could I tell you, I, I've said this so many times, like coming into tarot was so different. I never expected this from my life. But when I kept getting nudged and pushed to do it, you know, God kept pushing it and telling me to do it. I went with it because I, I've always trusted my intuition. And that's one thing I know I, I've done. I trust my intuition and I don't like to go against God. Let me tell you something. When you go against your intuition and what God is telling you to do, it only makes your life more difficult. Literally, it does. Um, so trust, trust, because it's an act of devotion. You please God when you trust God, okay? Um, I saw in the comments, someone said that they are having trouble feeling connected to God. And I, I saw someone else um, respond to that saying, hey, you know, just read your Bible or something like that. Like keep reading scriptures and I, I guess it will get you in the spirit. Thanks. Thanks for helping them out with that one. Um, I would also like to say sometimes when we get upset about not receiving what we want, like our ego wants, like a mate money or something like that, it locks up our throat chakra. So when we get ready to pray, it's like, mm. And you know, it's like, why can't I say a prayer? Like, why can't I speak? It's because ego is in control. So when I feel like that, I learned, I, it's a trick that I do when I'm writing a paper, when I get stuck. Like if I'm, I know what I want to say, but you know, it's not all together. So I write every crazy thing down and then look at it and like, oh my God, this is crazy. And I start deleting things and I keep the good stuff and then I go from the good. So I do the same thing when I'm locked up in ego and my throat chakra is locked. I pray from my ego self and I say everything that everybody would say when they're upset with God. I complain and I say, you know, I've been wanting this and why is it taking so long? And I pray and pray and pray until I hear myself sound stupid. OK, I pray until I hear myself sounding ungrateful. I pray until I could really hear myself um, yeah, it, it really is ungrateful. Cause then I go, but thank you for everything that you've given me and done for me. There's so much for me to be grateful for. So then when I recognize, man, I'm over here, I'm sounding like an asshole, you know, talking to God, like I'm crazy. I ask for forgiveness, but it puts me in the spirit. And then I'm actually able to pray and I'm actually able to, um, tell God what's bothering me without complaining about it. And then when I tell God what's bothering me without complaining, I'm telling God, I trust you with it. I know you, you're going to handle it. You know, you got it, God. I know 
and it's causing me all this confusion. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with um, when I'm going to move, when a relationship is going to start, what job I'm going to have. But I know you got it. Just help me to make it day by day and help me focus. But thank you for everything that you've done for me right now in my life. Right. That will release your throat chakra and allow you to speak and then reconnect to God. This to me it's it's also like shadow work to me because the thing about shadow work is not about killing the shadow it's about recognizing the shadow living in truth knowing you have a shadow so i say yeah i'm in my ego okay instead of feeling guilt or shame about it speak from it it's my ego it's my shadow right and when i say yeah my shadow and my ego be sounding crazy sometimes that's okay. I know it does. And then I go ahead and I speak to God in the spirit. Once I recognize I'm in my ego. See, when we don't call a spade a spade, even when it's on ourselves, we don't move. We can't move. So we got to be honest about how we're behaving, how other people are behaving in order to move. Truth and honesty is power. Okay. And um, yeah, yeah. So if you ever get stuck, in your prayers, realize why you're stuck. It's because you're an ego. You either feel some sense of shame and you're too ashamed to go to God, or you feel angry at God. Either way, speak from there until you can hear and move yourself into the spirit. All right. Um, if this reading reson resonates with you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, email me at princeofpeacetarot at gmail.com. All right, guys.